Christian backlash against transgender characters in the Sims game. Oh, gotta love it. In the latest version of the video game The Sims, created by Electronic Arts, the players can pick top surgery scars for their characters, let them wear chest binders, shapewear, and other medical wearables. The LGBT fans rejoiced at this news since the new features would allow them to play the game based on their life experiences. American Family Association, or AFA for short, a Christian fundamentalist and anti-LGBT group, released a statement condemning the Sims game. According to the organization's executive vice president, uh, Ed Vitagliano, gender affirmation surgery, this is, the, the, all these quotes are so crazy, just buckle up guys. <laughs> gender affirmation surgery is, quote, a new expression of ancient paganism in its everlasting war against absolute truth and decency. Vitagliano uh, Vit Vit aired his concerns and added, we continue to warn parents that our culture is not a place of moral neutrality. The false prophets of sexual anarchy and gender confusions are modern manifestations of Ahad and Jezebel, determined to lead the nation in rebellion against God and his word. The Bible says we should choose this day whom we will serve. For the sake of our very souls, we should be resolute in our faithfulness to Jesus Christ. This is not the first time that AFA took issue with anything related to the LGBT community in the entertainment industry, such as when he said that Sam Smith and Kim Petras' performance at the 2023 Grammys brought absolute debauchery and satanic worship to the world. Amazing. Guys, every time you see a couple of trans rights activists taking it too far, and you might be thinking that maybe this trans rights movement is too much you need to come and look at stories like this to realize that a few wokies going insane doesn't completely shouldn't make you completely give up on trans rights because we have more people wanting the annihilation of trans people that we have trans rights activists going insane right we need trans rights. We need trans rights because as as annoying as some trans rights activists are, and I know they're annoying some of them, some of them, okay? The main problem is that these people would want to see these people eliminated. These Christians, these conservatives would like to see trans people wiped out from society, okay? And as as annoying as some trans rights activists are, this is a bigger problem. This is a much bigger problem. And this is why we need trans rights. And if you are concerned about those annoying trans rights activists that are going extra woke, you should be annoyed with them because they're damaging a movement that we need. Facts. Yep. They are, see, like gay rights movement have, has had a lot of success. We had women rights movement. Again, I don't want to say the job is done, but it had major success. Women rights movement has major success. Then it was the turn for gay people. And they had their gay rights movement in the West. And gay rights movement has progressed a lot. Still have a lot to go, but progressed a lot. Okay? Now it was the turn for trans people. And the woke people, the wokies, ruined it. This was a disservice. So if you mm -hmm. feel like trans, if you think that wokey people are um, annoying you, think about uh, the main cost to them is not your annoyance. Their main cost that they're doing to society is on trans people themselves because their movement has been hijacked. And this, this is the kind of news that you have to see to know how big of a threat conservatives are to the very existence of trans people. Okay. In in further quotes, this guy basically says that this is like a sign of the apocalypse. Like that this the, them having a, 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 a customizable character that has top surgery scars. It's like the apocalypse is coming, guys. 
You heard it here first. It's it's happening. It's happening, babies. <laughs> like it's insane. Right. D is saying the new satanic panic. Exactly. Yes. Excellent comment from D. New satanic panic, and they are literally saying that this is satanic. Hmm. But it's different this time because it's not just like kids that paint their nails black and like have depression and acting a little bit antisocial. It's like a very vulnerable portion of society being actively targeted. Yeah. Um, here's a good question by One Eye Heathen. What is an example of extra woke? I don't know. Maybe the most recent <laughs> example. Maybe the most recent. I mean, there are so many examples, but one of the most yeah. recent ones is going after anybody who's playing Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah. Because so it's apparently, if you play related to J.K. Rowling. Yeah. So and apparently, gentle. if you if you play Hogwarts Legacy, you're transphobe. So if you didn't know, yeah. now you know. Yeah. I mean, I shouldn't answer this question about extra woke because I have, I'm so biased and bitter that I'm, I might talk out of turn. But. Um, so, uh, by the way, the Hogwarts Legacy is amazing. Have you seen the gameplay? No, I haven't. Oh my God. It's, it's, it, it, guys, even if, if you don't play, like I, I don't play, but when I'm working, I like to just have the gameplay in the background because I need something, I need something that is kind of interesting but not too interesting, so I can doesn't distract me. So if in the background I have I'm playing something that is a movie that's too interesting and I can't work, and if it's just music, it's too boring and I can't work either. So like playing a having a gameplay of a game video game like Hogwarts Legacy is good for me because it's not it doesn't grab my attention but it's also mildly interesting so i know i love the game i like i love the environment it's so nostalgic it's beautiful yeah i want to read this comment i don't know how to say this username but i like this comment saying religious conservatism is such a toxicity to common sense diversity in liberal society yes and this is why you will always see the vast majority of creativity that transforms society coming from a more left-leaning position because it, it's transformative mm -hmm. it's working towards what is what is mutable what what can we bring to the next level what can we leave behind as we evolve as we mature how mm -hmm. can we challenge how can we transcend you are so, not going to find that in a conservative mindset so so let me let me tell you about the conservative mindset and a radical progressive mindset and then the reasonable mindset okay it, each one of them in one sentence okay the conservative mindset is like don't change anything things are good the way they are okay the radical progressive mindset is like let's just change things for the sake of breaking things and setting things on fire because I hate the world and let's just change everything regard like anything and everything, I, right? I think of it as but, like, we have problems in our institutions. So let's rip apart our institutions without first figuring out just, what we're gonna replace it with. So conservatism is like, keep everything the way it is. Radical progressivism is like, burn everything to the ground, okay? We'll Rash figure out the rest later. Yes rational liberalism is like hey let's evaluate each one by one and see if we could do better that is the mindset that is the rational mindset in the middle right okay i'm just a lib just I'm trying just... to make it in this world <laughs> <laughs> You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.